Hey guys, welcome to our thrift haul. Sorry we're late, we were having YouTube situations. Um, we go live every Saturday night and we show you the things that we've thrifted and we tell you what we paid for and what we're gonna do to it to turn it into things that we can sell in our retail shop here and make some profit. So, right off the bat, these things were actually donated to us, hence the title. Um, almost like we were thrift store and uh, we've got some really good friends that have brought some things by. So we're going to show you. Some of them will be for sale at jamierayvintagehome.com or you can pick them up in the Lehigh shop here oh, at 1245 West Main Street in Lehigh. There's comments. Yay! We were live a minute ago and there was nobody there. YouTube was like... It's like, surprise, you did a live show without oh, anybody on. That's why we're a little late because we had to figure that out, but I think we got it working. All right, so... As the title says, lots and lots of glass tonight, which I'm excited about. I like jars. I like a nice piece ones. of glass. You like the thick glass. <laughs> if you guys haven't done so, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We'll tell you what we would pay for it and what it'll sell for in our shop. And I'm going to be manning comments. So if you have any questions, let us know and we will help you out. All right, what do we have first? So this is a fun green bottle. It says Tahitian Nani. Uh, I, I bet know, that's a drink situation. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's got a cork in the top. It probably had some sort of lid here on it. But it let me like see. It's an adult beverage. Yeah, let me bring the camera closer because a lot of this glass has some really fine detail. And I'll show you up. Okay. Let's we don't have any like really large things tonight, so I think I can just hold everything right up to the camera. Sweet. Rosie, um, if you need something from the shop, email Le Lehigh Shop at jamierayvintage.com or info at jamierayvintagehome.com. I'm not sure where you've been contacting us, but those are the places to get them. All right. All right. So this is a fun little jar. Oh, did we say? I missed it if you said. Did you say? Um, we probably pay like a dollar for it and we'll probably sell it somewhere in the $9.95 range, but I think it needs a paint job here. Do you want to hand it over oh, here? Oh, yeah. Are we going to get started painting early I think today? I need to start painting early. Okay. When will the hemp oil be back in stock? It's, it should be in stock if it's not. Caitlin's on, and if she gets a second, she will update that. Yeah, it's back. I've been using it like crazy. The hemp oil is so good. Um, so we've got this fun little tray. I think it's going to need an update with a stencil on it. I was thinking we could use the new big number stencil and do like our uh, zip code or something. Okay. I don't know. I'm down with that. Whatever. We'll see. It's a popular thing right now to put your zip code on stuff. Is that, is that the popular thing? I think so. I've seen it all over the place. It's all over my Pinterest, so it must be something that's happening. I didn't know. <laughs> I think it's popular back east, but we can try it out. We have an old zip code. It's in the 8400s. Oh, what kind of hemp oil? Um, so the hemp oil we use is Sweet Pickens, and we carry it at jamierayvintage.com on our It's all natural website. and food safe. Did we go thrifting today? We didn't. Um, our favorite thrift store, the DI, is not open yet. I don't know if Goodwill is open or not, but DI is not open back up yet. We're going to start hunting around. There's a few little dive thrift stores and charity shops that we're going to start looking to see if they're open. Because um, the state has uh, removed a lot of restrictions and things right uh, now. Oh, super chat. This is for Kaylin because she's so awesome. She I took care awesome. of her. Thank you, Donna from Crescent Moon Cottage. Kaylin is awesome. All right. Thank you four or five dollars for this tray they're usually in the three to five dollar range we're going to paint it stencil it and we will sell it for about 20, 20 to 25 dollars depends depends on, it always depends on how cool it turns out there's a range all right oh and, caitlin already fixed the hemp oil and put the link that caitlin is the bomb .com. so this is about a two dollar jar maybe three because it has a cork topper it's it's screwed in upside down with the little knob so I'm going to fix that later because it's, it's backwards. If you flip it this way, it goes right down in. Um, probably sell something like this for $9.95, somewhere in there. $9.95, $12.95. It doesn't need cute. a lot of work. We might paint the cork. I think the cork would be cute painted. Yep. But it's got some good detail on the glass, and it's a decent size. It's probably, I would say, at least a quart and a half that you could fit of something in there. It'd make a great candy jar. M&M's all colored up, you know, whatever. Jen said she scored four chairs for a dollar each at her Habitat store. I'm, we got to hit up the Habitat because I need doors and windows. Yeah, we need windows for the farmhouse bad because I'm like to the point where I need to get the second 
story going, and I need Jamie to figure out what windows she wants in the downstairs. We're calling it the uh, the mother-in-law suite. Oh. So I think this is from Diane. She left a fun note on here. It says, this has a lid, but don't put grandma in it. <laughs> that sounds like it could have been Sue. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know what boxes you pulled stuff out of, so I'm kind of at a loss. It's glass that looks like it got spray painted. We'll probably put a different color paint on it. Um, I would have been a buyer on this for about $2.50 to $3 because it does have the top. It's, it's uh, plastic and glass. But, oh, that goes down farther. There we go. Now it's sitting down all the way. But it's a fun shape. Let me show you up close. It's got some fun detail. I think distressed and painted in distress, that'll look really cool. I should have got a better brush. This brush has seen better days. Is, well, I think... It's really stiff. We've been using a lot of our brushes for like big top and things, and then... Not washing them. As usual, they don't get washed yeah, right away. I can't deal with this brush situation. I'm going to go soak this, and I'll be back with a brush that moves. All right, I'm going to keep showing you guys fun stuff, and Jamie will be back on comments here in a minute. All right, so when I got this, I'm like, what is this thing? Is this like a weird napkin holder? But check it out. It's a tiered tray that is compact. Ooh, look at that. I, I, you know, the ingenuity behind this, I just thought it was really cool. And then if you don't, uh, if it's, it's time to go in the closet because it's not the right season, you just fold her back up. And it's got... It's really awesome. Looks like pressed tin is what I would call oh, that. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, it's a really it's cool It's like a tray. transformer tray. Yeah, I know. Are you able to squeeze the Caitlin, me? can you take one of these out of stock? <laughs> the DIY blending brush. I haven't treated myself to a new brush in months. There's nothing like opening up a new fresh brush. So this is cool enough and it's metal. I probably would have paid about 5 or $6 for this. Maybe even up to like $7.50. We'll probably paint it. Um, it. It already has like a couple little paint spots and splatters from, I don't know, maybe living in someone's garage or craft craft room. So we'll, we'll hop it out and get a fresh new paint job, brighten it up a little bit. It looks like one is lower than the other. I'll probably have to bend that back straight. But overall, pretty cool. It'll probably be in the 1995 range because it's fairly unique. Yeah, that's way cool. Somebody want to know the tray will probably sell for somewhere between $20 and $24. Depends on how cool it is. This one? Yep. Yeah. All right. So fun. I'm, I'm guessing this is a shot glass, a big one. Careful with this one. Or a Nyquil glass. <laughs> it's, got, it's got that thick glass on the bottom. Um, probably. I, we don't usually pick stuff like this up. Um, but 50 cents. Somewhere in there. Yeah, I'm using a DIY brush. These actually never go on sale. They're synthetic. And this is this a blending brush, Caitlin? I think it is. I wouldn't swear to it. These are really cool and perfect for like uh, like a single stem flower. Um, I would have probably they in our thrift store these would have been about 75 cents each, but this one has some cool Oops, detail that was on the bottom. Too, I it. And the number two on it on the bottom. No corks on these, but you could probably find a little cork stop or a lot of thrift stores sell Oh, cork. super chat. Oh, thank I you, Cheryl. I sent the boxes to you yesterday. Open the small box first. You guys rock. Small boxes. Did you mail them to us, Cheryl? Let me know, Cheryl, because I don't know if I... They could be in the mess situation that is the back room, but I didn't find them. She said she sent them yesterday? Or did they... No, are I they don't delivered know. yesterday? Um, I sent the boxes to you yesterday. Oh, she she sent me boxes, so they're not here. They're not okay, here yet. Good. I was like, did I misplace something? And if Patty is watching, Harrington got his his uh, uh, graduation 2020 toilet paper shirt and loved it. Careful, you're gonna get paint on your city. All right, so this jar is about the same size. I'm really liking the color and the way that it's. I don't even know. I don't know enough about glass, but the shape of it inside is cool. It's almost like it's square all the way down. Yeah, those glasses we usually sell for about three ninety five each. We have like a whole like shelf full of little glassware, and we just put it all together with one price, and then people can pick through it and find the thing that they want. So this is another good one. This, the, the the glass coloring tonight is great. Like the greens and light blues colors, those are awesome. Brenda said. Oh, Carts and Millie, some money towards my windows. And oh, Cheryl gave us a super chat and she sent me boxes. Thank you, thank you. 
Thank you, guys. And when you buy used windows, those dollars go a little bit further. Oh, also, you guys, thank you so much for all the super chat. We're still adding things up from the PayPal and the Venmo money from last week, and we are going to be sending money to our retailers. You guys help support our retailers in need. Um, and so it was you, awesome. You. It turned it out awesome. way better than we thought, and it's going to go to a very good cause. We've got some retailers that have had a struggle because their shops are all closed. So that's going to go to help them. Yeah, we appreciate that very much. So, uh, Carolyn, how did the store opening go today? It went well. Um, we've actually been open since Wednesday. Well, no, it's been two weeks. Has this it was been our two second weeks? week. Yeah, this is our second yeah. week. But um, it went it went good. We were pretty steady all day no big crowds which is great you don't want that right now so lots of steady business all day sold lots of little things if you guys watched our video yesterday we sold that farm fresh table in the shop today cute little esther who shops stops by every week bought it she's so cute uh, lauren was on the phone and lauren said i turned around and she just hauled it outside herself and loaded it up <laughs> like good job esther i mean she bought it first she didn't just haul it out but yeah so it was a good day. It was a good day at the shop, and we sold a lot of things. I was here a lot stocking. All right, I like that pink hobnail. Stuff. Yeah, the pink is is not common. We don't see a lot of the pink, and it's hobnail, which is even better. And it's got a clasp. It looks like it Hi, needs. Hi, Logan. It looks like it needs a little bit of repair. I think it's upside. The clasp is upside down somehow. Did you notice that I called it hobnail instead of hobnob? I did. I feel like I'm winning because I'm points remembering. points for you. Points for Jamie. Oops. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna flip this over real quick because it's gonna give me an eye twitch. Favor. Could you move that just like scotch that way? Am I gonna knock stuff off? Um, yes. I need like a little bit of space. Here, I'll just here. scooch over my way here. Sorry. All right, I'm gonna see if I can fix this. Real quick. We probably would have bought this for about four to five dollars, maybe. Oh, Jean's on here. She's like, I knew Esther would want that table. Jean, you know she did. She came in today in about three seconds. She got the measuring tape out and she made sure it would fit in her little space. And Esther loaded it up in her cute little. Esther drives a coral car, and she loaded it all up in her back seat. All right, I think I got this. I, I, think I was going to show this. you guys all the tables I bought this week, but we already painted them. So maybe if we need, if we have extra time, I'll show you the ones that haven't sold yet. Because those are new this week. I just got them painted. Before. All right, fit. I knew you guys were worried about it like I was. Okay. I, don't, I don't know that anybody was worried, but nobody doubted straight. your prowess. How much would you sell this for? Is, can you say prowess for guys? Prowess. Prowess. Do you have prowess? Or is, is it only is it yeah, girls? That's fine. That's fine. Okay, how much do I sell that for? Squirrel. Um, that's probably like $7.95 because that's cute. That's cute. Um, somebody, oh, super chat. Happy Saturday, Sally Bond's Wall. Thank you, Sally. Thank you. Yes, some date night money. All right. Last, last night, our date considered of me falling asleep to Star Trek. Okay, so I have. All right. I guess I'm going to stop painting stuff until we're done with all. I thought if I started painting now, then well, would... well, we'll clear that off and you can paint that one too. That oh. one looks like it was done in one of our stencils. Um, it was. It was done. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure who dropped it off. Sue or Diane must have already got their stencil on because this has a JRV stencil on it. All right. So, guys, we get these for about two to three dollars from the thrift store. Sometimes a dollar. This one was a dollar. It's got the it's got the tag on it still. Um, and these all have some really great shapes to them. These are our favorite jars. We love them. And they go pretty quick. We usually sell them for about... I got paint on my new shirt. Oh, no. We usually sell them for about $9.95. If that pink hobnail one will probably go for a little bit more. But just showing you these, all the different Margie, shapes. The stencils ship directly from our manufacturer. So that's why if you got your golden ticket and there wasn't a stencil... That's because it comes straight from our manufacturer. And she's really quick about getting it out, but stencils from her because of where she's at in the country, like the the uh, post office is like rerouting them all over the place. So yeah, the they do arrive. It's just taking longer than normal. Yep. And she ships them out for us. So you will get it. Okay. All right. I'm going to show something that's not says glass. That they ship directly from her, but sometimes people don't see that. So then they don't know that. Look at There's this. This coming. has got a really cool shape. Oh, that's cute. What What's the maker on that? I'm going to look. Are you telling people prices? I'm not yes. paying attention. Okay. It's Homer Laughlin. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good brand. So that's about 20 bucks right there. And I don't see any chips. It's got a little bit of wear in the gold here around the edge, but it's not chipped. Um, let's see. Rose Lewis says she needs a date night. 
So I, you know, in, in the thrift store, oh, there is a couple, like one little chipper on the bottom, I'll sand it. Um, there is, in the thrift store, this probably would have been around five bucks, we'll maybe less. We'll sell it for 20. 350 to $5, right around there. It does need a good scrub. It looks like it's been sitting on top of the cabinets for a while. It's got that like greasy dust on it. That, that they get sometimes when they're up there. They get I only know because, because that's what food. happens at, at our house. Yeah. <laughs> we eat a lot of fried food. If you eat fried food, the stuff in your kitchen gets greasy. And we it's won't paint food. that one because someone will put that on the website and someone will be like, oh, that's the missing piece I've been needing, and they'll snag it up. <clears throat> All oh, right. no, Teresa lost her bird because she got a new card. You better hurry and sign back up for channel oh. membership. Get that bird back. Do you guys know that there is a funny like video going around about putting a bird on it by what's the show Zip? oh it's portlandia portlandia they, they make fun, fun of people that put birds on stuff and i was like i put a bird on everything i thought it was cool <laughs> apparently now i'm like a meme well it's been out for a long time it's yeah. been a, it's been a meme for a long but time i've had a bird for a while just put a bird on it that's what we're gonna, we're gonna get a shirt all right i gotta i got like i gotta yeah. you gotta pan out you're gonna I was like, the words lost me, but I need that face. Solo brass candlestick. This one has some awesome detail. I love it. We'll leave it tarnished like this. Um, probably about 2 to $3 at the thrift store. Anywhere from $12.95 to $14.95 because it is pretty unique and it's big. Like, you can put a big candle on here and it would be awesome with like a, like a large scented candle. Or not send it, you know, whatever you want to do. Oh, someone did join channel membership. Oh, Teresa got her bird back. Question All to right. Jenny and Are your DI and thrift stores now open? Um, I don't know about the other thrift stores. DI is not open. We're going to start sure. next week. We're going to really start searching up and calling around to the other thrift stores like Goodwill. There's some savers up here. Um, there's some local mom and pop charity stores that we're going to look into. Um, I think Habitat has opened up. So we'll be we'll be back to thrifting hopefully next week. We want to give it a minute because all these people have been in their house for all these days and now they're out at all these stores. And if they're out, I'm in. <laughs> it's, it's less about the situation and more that like I don't like large groups. So we are like, oh, restaurants are open. We're going to stay home. So this is a Cuisinart pewter dish, but it's it's good. Oh, new channel it's membership, Renee heavy. and Cheryl, welcome. I know they've been channel members before. Thank you, thank you. All right. Um, let's see. Careful switching that card out. You lose your bird. Check out the online options. I've been cleaning up. Yeah, well, that might be a little dangerous. Any online shopping situations can be dangerous. Well, and we've been getting a, a, quite a few things from like Facebook Marketplace doing like touchless pickup and things like Yumiko, that. Yumiko, so. will you send me the pink hobnail with my blouse I just ordered? Yumiko, can you email um, Lehigh, actually info at com, and Caitlin will take care of you. She's now taken over that email, which will mean y'all are going to get way better customer service. Because <laughs> Caitlin, <laughs> y'all have our strengths. Staying on top of that was not mine. I got too many balls in the air. All right, I've got more glass over here to show you guys. All right, you got glass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna show you guys close. All of this, I would have been a buyer at around a dollar or less. Oh look, this one still has the price tag, one dollar. Uh, limonade. It looks like it's French. Ooh, I like French stuff. You know what? Zeb likes French soap. So. <laughs> Stay tuned to a lot of French soap coming on the website because you Zeb know, and I had a fun ordering it, mostly Zeb. You know what? I worked at a tire shop for 15 years. And you want to smell pretty? No. I like soaps that can actually get me clean because some soaps, they just don't cut the mustard. Or the grease. Or the grease, especially or they don't the cut grease. the grease. So if a soap will do that, I'm all about it. And I like bar soap. I don't like like the whole loofah sponge Body yeah. wash I situation. actually am having some face shields made for me and the shop. I'm extremely claustrophobic, like to the point where I can't breathe. And so I'm hoping the face shields are a good answer for me. This one I probably would have been like two, up to two bucks on. It's It's got a really cool design on it and three legs. And we'll sell these, like these little jars here, there's two of them. Um, probably would, would sell these as a set for about 
eight or nine dollars, somewhere in there. They're not very big. One of these days, I'm gonna make an apothecary cabinet for all these little bottles because I love. You're gonna stick I love that little, on the list of things. I love little bottles and like things with lots of drawers, so I'm I'm due. Oh, Janine got her T-shirt that she ordered from Jamie Ray Vintage Home on Thursday, and she says she loves it. Yay! I feel Sweet. like this was like a syrup Jean, jar. what are you bringing on Monday? I like... missed that whole conversation. Am I going to be selling the face shields? Oh, she's going to bring the face shields on Monday. That's what it is. Um, we're not, but I do know where we can make some. So we'll see. I, I have an idea for a DIY um, to jazz them up a little bit. So this looked like it used to have some paint on it of some sort. Can I have that lemonade But it's grapes. One? Yeah. Are you going to paint it? Mm-hmm. I'm painting everything today. Okay. All getting painted tarnished purple. Bottles, bottles are the new clocks. It is, well, we do have a clock. I'll show you here in a oh, minute. Oh, this one was a dollar. It has a price tag from DI on it. Yep. So, if you've been needing a yellow Fiesta wear. That came from Heidi. This is from Heidi. Yeah, she messaged me. She left it. I looked like she left it on the back porch on a dresser, and it looked like a genie bottle. It's Fiesta. <laughs> With the little F. So that will be listed up. That'll sell for $20. Looks like there's no chips on it, too. I am not seeing I love any. the butter yellow. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Thanks, Heidi Burrow. She's my homegirl. All right. Um, Leslie says she loves things with lots of drawers. We're going to be putting drawers under the stairs at the farmhouse. I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, instead of like just empty, huge space, I have. I have a closet that I had to do the crawl space access in. Would you pass me um, a rag? So nothing will be able to go on the floor of that closet. Hold on. All right, so this is a fun little crate. Donna's getting her stencils in a few days, the mini green sacks. The mini I'd have been five sacks. bucks on this. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's okay. I was interrupting you. I'd have been five bucks on this, and it'll be anywhere. If we stencil it cool, it can go upwards of like nineteen ninety five. Yeah, that's gonna be cute. I'll probably stencil it. I'll just paint that too. Just leave there. Okay, I'm okay, gonna go get you a rag. Uh, well, there's said. a rag right there by my purple shirt. I changed my shirt that I was wearing all day right before we went live, so I put on a clean shirt for you guys because this is a new, just up on the website. I like it because it has this little lace detail. I actually think it'd be cuter with a cami. I didn't have one, and I didn't want my boobs showing, so I put an undershirt on. You're welcome. There is a clock in the house. What? Clock in the house. I like this clock a lot. I think... Deb, Deb says she loves the uh, Grady boat. Me too. Janine says LOL. What color should we paint this? I'll paint this once I'm done showing you Carlos says stuff. her stencils were five days late, but they made it. Lab. The post office is just having, you know, right now with everything that's going on with COVID and all that situation. Oops, I said that word. The situation, these Poor people getting stuff, going in the mail, are doing the best they can, but every now and then they get a little behind. So It's, it's worse than holiday season right now. Oh, I don't know that I can paint this. There's like some serious residue situation. Oh, was there, a lab was there a label on yeah, it? We'll yeah. Get, we'll soak that off. We can get that off with like the lemon oil, I think. Yeah, we'll We'll, we'll, we'll paint this one later. It's probably just going to look like it was getting ready to go white. Now you need, Zeb needs to wear that shirt on Monday because it's May the 4th be with you. May the 4th! Last episode of the Clone Wars coming out. Oh, Jody oh, got us in four days from order placement. You must live near Michigan. <laughs> I feel like people live closer to Michigan. The post office is doing better at it. All right, I got two more things. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Did ten, we eleven, twelve. Sell the white grandfather clock from back porch. No, nope, we haven't done anything with it. No, nope, it's still here Maybe next, next to us. Week. Maybe next That'll week. That'll be one of the painted videos next week. We'll do it on Friday. Diane, would you like to see that video on Friday? We'll do it Friday. So we have, these are Onida or Oneida. I don't know how you say Oneida. that. Oneida. It's Oneida. A, it's Oneida. Oneida. We've got this little, I want to say 10. They're, they're plated, but we've got 12 oh, of goodness. them. Sorry, of 12. I'm, I'm turning my phone on, on Do Not Disturb right now. And um, Ibarra, oh, hold on a second. Oh, goodness. Rosie Ibarra, I saw that your email came through. So Jalen or I will get back to you tonight or Monday morning. If you need an owl vase, we got you. Denise, what color size? Oh, the gray sweater I was wearing yesterday, Denise. I was wearing a small. I think you and I are about the same size. So I would say small or medium, Denise. It depends on how blessed you are in the upper region. I didn't really investigate. So I'm about a C cup and the small fit me. So there you go. 
um, can't see what you're showing, the comments are blocking everything. Flip your phone another direction and it'll move where the comments are. If you flip your phone vertical like this, the comments are on the bottom and the picture's on the top. That might help. Otherwise, I think you can swipe them away too. I'm not really sure. Yeah, you can turn them off if you don't want to see them. <gasps> Sharon says, I received the floral cutout window arch. It's so much better and bigger in person. I love it when I ship stuff to people and they like it better in person. So this was originally $7.99. Compare it $14 from Ross. Well, Alicia's on It'll probably be back around 15-ish when we paint it. I think it needs a paint job. Me is, oh, I will paint it any color you bring to me. I'm going to go get you a fun bluish color the problem of some sort. Of the blue persuasion. The problem I have right now is that's the only... Can you find me a brush? Oh, yes. All right, I'll be right back. And then I think that's everything we had to show. Did you show me everything? I think so. Oh, we have this frame back here. Oh, yeah. This came from my friend Kat. I actually have more from Kat at home. I forgot to bring it. She's moving all the way to Florida. It's a chalkboard. She used to do preschool at her house, and I'm pretty sure she used this for that. I am pretty sure. We haven't decided what we're going to do on it, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be epic. It's got a fun gold frame. We like to things like this that don't have a ton of detail, but they've got good coloring. We like to paint them and bring that color back through. Um, price for the 12 silver plate for the cups, the Oneida. I don't know. Do you guys know what those are worth? I haven't looked them up. I've never sold them before. So I would have to Google it and see how much they're worth. Um, the owl brushes. is so pretty. You're looking for brushes. All right. Does anybody else like like leave their brushes alone and then leave them in water until they have no brushes left? We're at that desperate situation. It and is time been... to bring some down into the shop. Yeah, our brushes need to be conditioned for I sure. In a bad way. Well, the other thing is we have been shipping like crazy. Jean can tell you Friday we were like shipping machines for the website, and so we didn't clean any brushes Friday. Here, you're gonna, I'm down to that without, I'm gonna go in. Oh, this one is it. perfect. This one's good, this is a little Frenchy. I just need some paint. All right, there's there's a little dab of, nope, that looks like the lid got left off. Caitlin says we've had those painted dogs almost a year. I think the Basset sold, but the Chihuahua, still available on the website in case anybody needs How do you Chihuahua. feel about Boho and bringing a lot of the white? Dogs? I do not feel positive about the Boho. Okay. I'm not positive about it. What about some cake batter? Jean says, it's been nuts. I can come clean brushes for you. It's fine, Jean. I'll get a kid to do it. I'll give Redrick 10 bucks. That's what I did the last time. And I know 10 bucks sounds like a lot for cleaning brushes, but you guys have no idea it how takes many like, brushes we It takes we like an hour or two. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we've got a brush situation. All right, French millinery it is because I couldn't find anything Are else. Are we selling milk glass? Yeah, we sold almost all of our milk glass. We only have a few pieces. I got to pick up more. What is it? French millinery. French millinery. Okay. I, can do I, think it'll, I think it'll go good. And then when you do your white wax like you like to do on stuff. It says make dogs out of the paint, make lamps. Well, one dog already sold. So we're down to a chihuahua. So I'm going I'm to paint this clock. Do you know what sells? Pink cats. Every pink time I paint, cats. every time I have a cat, I paint it pink. Always sells. All right, I guys, I'm why. just going to move some stuff off so I have some room to paint with Jamie, and I'll be right Debbie, back. Debbie, when I look on the item website, I only see about five items. If you click see all or you go to the menu, then you'll see all the things. There are there are many, many things on the website. Jamie's got over I a few hundred items up on there. True that. Some have sold out, but we still have quite a bit of, in stock on the website. Right. Oh, someone wanted this pink jar, right? Donna gonna, bought one of my pink cats. I'm going to set the pink jar. Donna, down. I have a question, though, Donna, now that we're talking about the pink cat. What made you buy a pink cat? Like, I don't know. Like, I saw it, and I just thought that cat should be pink, but I don't really know why. So I'm curious as to what made you want a pink cat. All right, so this is ceramic. It's going to be streaky, and I'm going to have to do two coats. But it will cover people. We get asked about it a lot. Debbie says she's a chihuahua mama. I mean, it's not going to be super wipeable. You're not going to want to run that through, like, a dishwasher. Pat, my top is in the JRV collection. I actually just put it up right before I went live, which means the description just says true to size because I'm wearing a small, and it's meant to be a little loose, and I feel like the size is really good. I haven't been oh. in there to put the, like, the origin, but I think this one's made in the USA because this particular brand usually is. I missed this. <gasps> Those are from Diane. Those are mine, actually. Oh, these are not for sale. Well, you can show them. They're cement-dipped um, roses. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, they're cool. They're very rigid. I like them a lot. Yeah, she dipped those. 
she, her and I talked about him last week when she dropped him off because she's my, she's my girl and she, I mentioned that I liked him and she left him for me. So now I'm gonna put him in something cute for the farmhouse. Um, I'm a, oh, Leslie's a bulldog mama. Leslie, guess what? Harrington University is the bulldogs. So I'm pretty excited. I grew up being a bulldog in Calexico, California. So, all right, painting this, let's see. I'm stenciling on drop cloth with DIY paint. Not done, so I'm not sure if it has blood or not. I haven't lifted the stencil. Ooh, it's always so scary before you lift the stencil. The thing about when you're stenciling fabric is bleed through is usually too bad because you gotta go juicy on fabric. Everything else is easier to bleed through, but fabric is fabric's pretty forgiving. But here's a little tip. You can sand drop cloth. Take fine sandpaper and sand the stencil, unless you did black, because that'll be a big hot pigment mess. But sand it and then blow it away with a blow dryer, and it may, sometimes it helps if you have a few imperfections. Okay, so this clock unscrews from the back here. The flowers, not as creepy as the ones in the dome things were. Not, They're not creepy at all, they're super cute. I was thinking about painting them a little bit and putting them in a cute display. Uh, let's see how to do. Can you put care instructions on the clothes on the website? Yes, I will. Most, I'm going to say right now, most everything on the labels says to wash and then uh, hang dry or hand wash. And everything I have done is just put it in the washer dryer. It's been fine. I'm not about to hand wash anything. Usually stuff will last longer if it says that, but you know, whatever. Well, I think sometimes they're like a little, like who is going to sit there and hand wash stuff? None of it's dry clean. Over they're probably you just giving you a, a best practice situation. How much for the owl? This owl is probably like $16.95. It's going to be cute. She's going to get white waxed. I mean, I don't know that she's a girl. Do you think this is a girl owl or a boy owl? Let me look. It's hard to say. Her anatomy is on an owl. Oh, I didn't mean to go so far down. I'm not painting the whole inside. I'm going to have to clean that up later. Deb, yeah, what color are you going to do for the clock? I'm going aviary on this because I'm feeling it. Rainbow, if you want the owl, you can email um, info at jamierayvintagehome.com. Caitlin will drop that email again here in a little bit in the comments. Oh my goodness, my nose itches. Anybody else having hay fever? The cotton is flying on the cottons. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. Sell the basket, Jamie. That was just pulled the roses. Oh, I can sell the basket. Okay. That was what I, she used to carry them. I wasn't going to keep the roses in there. I don't know what. Diane, what should I put the roses in? I haven't decided. I think they'll look cute in our super fancy ba master bathroom. Normally, I would vote to spray this. It's metal. But. The spray booth is now storage. So. The spray booth has turned into the <laughs> home decor website storage. It looks like a, tr like a true warehouse in the basement. I'm so excited. Oh, Brenda says she's had that itchy nose and horrible eye irritation. All right, let's see what Monet's garden for the clock. Well, it's, it's uh, aviary, so that's in the green family. Just making sure I haven't missed, if you have asked a question and I have missed, go ahead and ask again. Because I am sorry. I'm, it's been a long day and my brain is not functioning well. Can you show us how to dip roses sometimes? Maybe I'll ask Diane. I've never done it. But I bet Diane would fill me in. Diane may have already told me. I don't know. My brain only retains so much information. I'm going to paint this too. I don't know if that's sacrilege. I think this is the moon and stars that Deborah has collected forever. I have about, I don't know five of these in the shop and they aren't moving so i'm gonna paint it white or paint it Do french we, millinery we don't have five of those with toppers. i have three well not with toppers i have some without toppers the topper makes it special i need mean, it for oil but i just keep my oil in a giant plastic vat from the costco maybe if you have fancy oil but we don't have any fancy oil regular old canola so I think distressed with this aviary, this is going to give it a really cool, almost industrial look. All right, do you need me a second coat of these trays so you can stencil them? Um, yeah, in a minute. They're not quite ready. They're still okay. a little tacky. 
Oh, farmhouse updates. All right, we can farmhouse update. But we had a lengthy conversation today about what doors we... and windows. What did we conversate about? And the, well, for one, we were going to add a bonus door into the back of the garage. We nixed that. But the garage already has three doors into it. I mean, it's got, it's got two in the front, the two garage doors in the front, and then a side door out into the mudroom. And I'm like, uh, I don't want to reinforce that today. So I just didn't do it. <laughs> it's fine. We're good. Um, and we talked about Zeb building he's like what kind oh, of garage doors do you want this is this is so where the like, conversation well, really I'll started on pinterest and see garage doors right and the first like three pictures down there are the most gorgeous handmade garage doors and i was like she looked at him and she's like zeb do you think you could build these Plus, at first she's like what kind of garage doors do you like i'm like i like aluminum garage doors because they're not very heavy and she's like, but what about these ones? <laughs> They're so pretty. I put them on my Insta stories if you guys want to see them. So I think I will be building custom garage doors. They're like herringbone and they got windows on think the top. Think of all the money you'll save. Um, well, garage. There's six thousand dollars a door on Etsy. Well, garage doors do run, even aluminum garage doors for the kind we were looking at getting would probably be about two or three thousand because we wanted windows and we have two garage doors on the front of the house. It's more for aesthetics than anything. So I will probably be adding that to the list of things and, and here, getting some garage doors. I'm over here. I'll come back in a second. I just got to dry this off. Shelly says, what a good idea, Jamie. I would have never thought to paint the little jar. I have several. Yeah, they look really cool painting because they've got so much detail on them. When you distress them, they, uh, it really shows all that off. Heirloom IA. Jamie, what video did you use salt wash and green and little black dress? I want to use that same technique on a headboard and can't seem to find the video. I don't know. If I usually I just search Jamie Ray Vintage and if, then salt wash. Yeah, if you if you look up Jamie Ray Vintage and salt wash, it'll be in the tags and it'll write up all this every salt wash video we've ever done on YouTube. When you're in the search bar, just type Jamie Ray Vintage Salt Wash. Or let's say you wanted to be like Jamie Ray Vintage paint blending or paint pouring or whatever. If you search Jamie Ray Vintage and then the thing you're looking for, we have almost 800 videos now. So there's a good chance a, something will pop up on it because we a lot of our earlier videos were like heavy hitting like DIY repair oh, videos. We're heavy hitting DIY. Okay. I don't know. Sometimes we get a little fluffy. We get a little fluffy. We're like, hey, let's do a tour of the shop, which everybody loves. Everybody always wants to do the shop. <laughs> Not everybody wants we're to We're about, I mean, we keep saying this, but we're, I've been working a lot, a lot over at the farmhouse. I almost have, I have to do one more wall on the garage that is the interior wall of the mudroom. It, it's the, what splits the garage and the mudroom. Um, and then I'm done with the first floor. And then we're going to be on to the second the floor. The second floor is going to take a little longer because there's more rooms. In yeah, there's, the second floor is more framing because there's a master bedroom up there with a master suite, including a huge bathroom and a big walk-in closet. And a toilet room, so that way when you go to the bathroom, I don't have to smell it. Separate, separate room for the toilet. And then there's one uh, there's another bathroom for the kids the laundry room and then there's one two three four bedrooms one doesn't have a closet because it's essentially the playroom but it's a, I, if i threw a closet in that room it would oh be a goodness, bedroom i'm dying we're adding five bedrooms two bathrooms and a laundry room i no. love that zeb's like and i was just thinking through like where they were all how at. many bedrooms <laughs> That's what's going up on that side. It's more fun to talk about them in detail, okay? Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> but we're almost to the point. Jamie did like a virtual tour with her mom this afternoon. So I'm thinking once we get the second floor done, we'll 
walk you guys around and kind of show you where all the bedrooms are going to go and what we're doing with each one because they're all going to be the whole house is super custom like jamie has an idea she wants i mean like the flooring and the trim will be the same throughout but each room is getting its own unique thing for whatever kids going to be in there well you know me if i wanted i was talking to my girlfriend today i'm like if i wanted a track home i would have bought one <laughs> If I'm going to go to all this effort, I'm going to make it unique, right? But the electrical is close. The uh, I've got a friend helping me on the elect electrical because um, I have been framing. So he's been, I had most of it ran, but he's been doing all the roughing because that's what the inspector looks at. He's going to come in and see. Oh, well, is he coming next week to finish that up? I think so. i got to talk to him and schedule it, but he's been coming and helping do that. And then the HVAC guys, we, we hired some help on that because you, in Utah, we can't, I, that's one thing I can't do, the HVAC. I could run the duct work, but we, we decided to move where it was at, so they had to come in and bleed it off and move it and have all their special equipment and stuff, so that's oh, also getting done right now. Yeah, we have Yeah, we decided that we had one huge air conditioning, air conditioning unit, and we decided to split it into two units because the other house was really too big for just the one unit the addition part needed its own separate unit oh, going and Mike's on. the bomb so he's taking it back and then we're paying the difference to split it yeah our contractor's like hey i'll just uh trade you for the one that goes down in the crawl space we haven't used it yet. Yeah. it's just been sitting there Anna Billingsley, can we have a farmhouse video this weekend? Not this weekend, but next weekend. We try to do one a week. If you haven't, have they, has she watched the framing one yet, though? We put a new one up this week. Yeah, there's been a new one up this week. If you haven't watched it, there's a whole playlist that I keep. There's like 37 videos in there now from start to finish. You could watch the whole thing almost like a TV series. When we're all done, we'll put it together in like a fun time lapse video. Sorry guys, I'm drying this so that I can stencil it. I'll be back in a minute. Wendy Buckland, March 30th, 2020 is the video of the dresser with mint chip, salt wash, and, and uh, black or dark gray paint. She looked it up today. <laughs> winter, winter chicken dinner. All right, I'm almost done here. These are probably dry enough. Josie Ford style. Do you know of a way to get scratches out of mirrors? Not a foolproof way. There is a way you can polish the front glass, but if the back is scratched, we just distress it and run with it. So, didn't we use toothpaste and steel wool or something? Gene Tooth and I tried Jean, it. Gene tried a whole bunch of different things. Toothpaste, I think steel wool, really, really fine steel wool. There's a, if, you, if you look it up, there's a bunch of ways you can get scratches off the front. Because the front is just glass, so you can you can get scratches out of glass if you really work at it. But the back, if you get that silver back and scratched, um, I don't know of a good way to do that. Oh, it's a Coca-Cola song. If you, they're like, what? Well, people have to put that away. That's from, if you guys watched oh. our Stay at Home Shopping Network on Thursday, this is one of the items that we just put up on the website. We're going to, we actually have two. One's going in our um, theater room at the farm. Every farmhouse needs a theater room, right? <laughs> it was going to be Harrington's room, but it took us so long to get the house finished. I was like, yeah, he's going to be moving out like a month later. So theater room it is. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to be fancy. We're not buying like theater. See, Zeb's going to build platforms to make it. Well, what we decided was the house doesn't need seven bedrooms. <laughs> no. So we're like, we decided that we do it into a theater room. Oh, uh, super chat from Teresa. She said, you guys inspired me to start refurbishing furniture as a cancer patient. The extra income is great. Oh, awesome. It Hopefully awesome. you're winning that battle. I'm missing Jack out. Jack's been in quite a few of the videos lately. Have you been watching all our videos? Because with what the situation the kids have been the kids popping up. Yeah. The kids have been in more videos. He might be in the background of uh, next week's video putting up more walls because he was climbing on the ladder while Jake and I lifted the wall up. Like, Jack, get off the ladder! What, what are you doing on that ladder? 
he was fine. It was just a little six foot ladder, but you know, he's he's over there monkeying around on all the trees and the ladder. I the clock I, you know, I'm really liking it. And when we distress it, I think it's going to really play well. Pat, she's got to get up early, so she went to bed. All right, you got comments again? Because I am going to go get I some have stencils. Comments. I'm just second coating this. Now, when you're going to second coat, especially ceramic, you got it's all on the wrist. Loosey goosey. Do not be uptight when you're painting ceramics because if you push too hard, you're going to pull that first coat off. And once you brush over it, don't overwork it because you will pull the first coat because the second coat activates the first coat. I get asked that all the time. They're like, how do you paint ceramics without pulling the paint off? Because I'm nice and easy on the wrist. All right, update on the baby chicks. The baby chicks are going to be coming the end of May. I need to actually contact our company and make sure that they are well on their way to getting ready because they hatch them when you order them. They're hatched to order. I really don't know how that works. But they're hatched already. All right, um, let's see. Zeb, are you changing the outside of the clock at all, or are you going to leave it black? I think I'm going to leave it black. It's plastic, and it doesn't come off the face. Like, okay. it's all one piece that's been, one piece. For, like, uh, melted together. Um, what happened to the big stencils that we just got? Are they over there? Are we moving to San Diego? We are not. No. Nope. We, 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 when we got this house, we got rid of that idea for a while. Well, my daughter joined the cheer team, and I was like, well, that's it. I'm stuck here. But we love it here, and I just deal with the cold weather, and I visit Debbie in the winter. So I survived. We'd love, we would love to buy a home there and, like, Airbnb it out so we can go visit, but we'll see. We one house if we do, we'll let you know, and you guys can come stay at our Airbnb because yeah, it will be, be all decorated up like Jamie wants. Well, you know. <laughs> okay, so we just got these are new stencils. Oh, she found it, but it's not under salt wash at all. It's the Vanity into Nightstands video. Oh. Well, it should be under the salt wash. I, did you not put did, it in the playlist? Did the search yet? not come up? Deb's gonna have to check the tags on that now. All right, so these letters are just like our small letters, but they're big. They're like house number big. They're five inches big. Debbie requested them, and you know, I was like, all right, you have good ideas. I will did, do it. did you? Is this second coated? Um, it should be. It it's feels second coated. Dry. Okay, so this is that one toe. I'm gonna let my clock dry over here. Put the lid back on the. She says area. I thought skeleton key was a gray, but it looks blue. It's a blue gray. Yeah, it does. Depend on the lighting. In certain lights, like if you're gonna look at it out in broad daylight, it's gonna be very gray. If you look at it and it's kind of like a little more dim in your room. It looks like it's kind of a bluish, smoky blue color. Hey, mate, how much is one baby chick cost? Uh, two I, or three dollars? No, it was more than that. Were these birds I, more? Well, I ordered 15 and it was like 90 bucks with shipping. Oh, you so ordered fancy birds. <laughs> <laughs> if you get them from the, from the feed store, they're like two or three dollars a chick. <laughs> Are you surprised? I ordered bantams, silky bantams. So they they're have fluffy legs and they're like little. If you can't get them at the regular feed store, they usually don't have the specialty ones. So I ordered them. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, I spent 80 or 90 bucks instead of like 60 or 70. That's like one trip out to dinner. And last night we were going to eat out and I made tuna melts. So I just paid for the extra fancy chicks. There you go. That's Jamie math. Your tuna melts were good. That's Jamie math. It's how you negotiate the things you want. These letters are so big, they might not fit in this tray. Caitlin says her boys want to come visit with and play with baby with Jack and see the baby chicks. Yeah, bring those boys over. Now that they've listed some of the social distancing, I missed my nephews. Deb says, "LOL, Jamie Math." Deb could tell you all kinds of Jamie Math. Jamie Math. When I want to buy new, when I want to buy new clothes for the JRB closet, you'll see me start promoting the ones I have a lot because I have to justify the new purchase. So then I try to sell the stuff I have so that way I can buy. These, these numbers are too big for this tray. They won't fit next to each other. I can get four in the bottom. Well. Will they fit? No, that tray's not any bigger, is it? Um. No, yeah, it's not going to work. We're going to need, we need like four and a half inch ladders. I think I'm going to do the shop address, 1245, just for fun. That's weird. I could do 1917 for a, the farmhouse. Just do a or something. Okay. Area code. I wanted to use the new big letters. Frida says she's a pro at Jamie Math. It works. I learned it from my mother. 
Okay, so this is now going to get a grain sack. Don't I worry, we'll paint the back eventually. I just something yesterday. It doesn't feel the way I thought it would. Did I do something wrong? That's kind of hard to tell from here, but it's possible. What does it feel like? Maybe it needs to be buffed some more. Sometimes you need extra elbow grease. That's when I bring in Zeb. Michelle says, so anxious to get into my store. Come on by. The rules at the store are stay six feet away. You can't bring any cash because we only do cards right now. No children under 12 and you can't lick anybody. We also take Apple Pay. And, uh, yeah, we take Apple Pay and all kinds of things. But money's dirty. We don't want your doing money. Uh, oh, I'm doing this one. What are you doing? This is one of my favorite stencils. Oh, oh, I love that Jean says she's piping in because Jean waxes a lot. If, it, if the wax is secure, it could definitely feel weird. Hi, Jamie. I think like you. It's because you think right, Les. All right, what color should I do the stencil on this? We usually just go black. I'm Hi, feeling some Pete. colors. What are we doing? I feel like I want to do aviary on this, too. Um, I think gray. You think gray? Like a dark gray. It looks really good. Can I mix some aviary into the dark gray? Janine says, please, no licking. It even says on my sign, no licking. Yeah. Mostly I did that because I think people get a little bit stressed out by all the new guidelines. So sometimes a little bit of humor goes a long way. Um, Lori says, do it in gray. And Violet says, I laundered my money. You have to be careful. That happened with me, too. The thing is, my kids do the laundry a lot. And the rule is, whoever does the laundry gets to keep the money. Sometimes people really score. Denise can verify it. She says Jamie does have a sign on the shop door and it does say don't lick people. It's true. Hey, Denise came by yesterday. She did. It was good to see her. It's been a minute. Her, her husband was giving me pro tips. He's like, hey, just put it over there. Just don't microwave <laughs> money. No, I wouldn't microwave money. Yeah, it's got like strips of metal or something in there, I think. All right, I'm going in. I'll show you guys... I'll bring it up once the stenciling is on. There is not a lot left of this old, this is old school. It's a great darker gray. Make sure I'm- Was that the chair or your bum? That was the chair. Sure it was. All right, we're committed, we're going. I always get extra pain down in the crack. Dry. I want to white wax these. All of our JRV stencils have also now been used for wax brushes. Our, st our JRV stencil brushes, you Yeah, mean? the stencil brushes, that's what I meant. Yeah, thank you. I knew what you meant. Oh, oh. Did you just burn the rag? Yeah. <laughs> the microfiber cloth. The microfiber cloth rag is actually plastic. <laughs> oh, smells real good. It smells like burnt plastic in here now. Mm. Yay. Luckily, the shop doesn't open up until. Wednesday, so the burnt smell will go away. We'll have to see if Jean smells it when she comes. Secret of doing nice crisp stencils is to offload. Our stencils are a little thicker, so they, they really help you out and work with you. You can do a stencil if you want, but they're, they're pretty forgiving if you, if you keep them pressed down. That's what I'm doing with this hand. I'm holding the stencil in place and just stenciling away here. Canadian money has plastic in it and can be wiped with Clorox. You Canadians are smart. I never even heard of that. That's crazy money. That's awesome. Offload, good man. Less I'm off proud of you. Les, are you watching? I'm offloading. Because of you, Les. You know, like two, two or three years ago, Les was... She was coming apart. I feel oh. like she was almost screaming at the camera. Oh, I'm pretty sure Les is screaming at us. <laughs> Renee says she just uses her debit. I have a little squirt bottle of sanitizer. Comes in handy. And we have a big old pump bottle of sanitizer by the front desk at the shop. But the label was ugly on the sanitizer bottle, so I just slapped a big Jamie Ray vintage sticker on it. Much better. I put a bird on it. You just put a bird on it. I'm, I'm drawing these because I want to 
white wax them. All right, I'm gonna let them cool down before I white wax them. Sometimes I go straight to, now that orange is like all black. Yeah, now it's gonna get charcoal and smell really nice. Well, you know, I do what I can. So I went with a smaller brush because this has got a lot of detail on the wheat, but- MD says maybe her wax is correct. She just likes sweet pick this top. So, you know, <laughs> sometimes you just try stuff and then you don't love it as much. So wax will take 30 days to cure up if, if it feels like a little tacky when you're going to do- um, Debbie, are you not going to use the big sconces? We are going to use the big sconces at the farmhouse. So I think they're going to look really good because where the wall was, we haven't done the German schmear because we didn't, we hadn't decided what we were doing up higher. We were maybe going to shiplap that, but since we decided to put the sconces on there, it had sconces there before and the brick was damaged. So that's why we hadn't done the German schmear higher up. But once that gets done, it's going to be really white and I think those will really stand out. And man, I am ready to put that kitchen in. Let me tell you guys, I am, we gotta get that electrical finished. And gas line, we gotta run the gas line so that the stove works. Ty says those sconces are gorgeous, I know. And you know, that's, that's how I, that's Cheney math for you, right? Like the sconces are a little bit spendy, but the French doors I bought on Facebook Marketplace. So I saved money on the doors and I spent them on the sconces. You saved like $900 on the doors. Exactly, and I didn't spend that much on the sconces, so I'm still money ahead, which means I have money for other things. Right? Right. Right. And the, I didn't skim on the course. They were beautiful. They were just cheaper. All right. I'm almost, almost done here. This has got, this is probably one of our most detailed stencils and it's big. Well, we see, we will have more grain sack pillows. I actually just, procured another seamstress because my seamstress stopped sewing for me and I was gonna have my friend sew for me but then I hired her to work for me and now she's too busy shipping packages. She's like I can't do both. So I had a friend of mine who's a really good seamstress she's actually gonna do some um, she does my cushions when I do upholstery she's gonna sew some cushions for some chairs for me. So I don't know if you guys do this, but Jamie, especially now that I'm getting walls in where she can actually visualize, I'm she is decorating the house. Like she's, the rooms will be based around the furniture that she puts in there. Well, the thing is, she's I don't like, can buy, we change this wall? Does it have to be lot, like that? I don't buy a lot off the rack. So if you're gonna make stuff, like I'm gonna be upholstering all the furniture for the formal living room, you gotta like plan ahead. So I already have two chairs are sitting on the back porch. They're super comfy. Zeb and I tested them out. And I will drop the cushions off to my seamstress and I'll do all the hard upholstery. And now I'm just searching for a couch. We're gonna, we'll probably do a video on those. We're gonna leave them deconstructed. Yeah, that'll be fun. The thing is the couch has to be not too big, but not too fancy because it needs to be comfortable. I'm not about fancy couches without the comfortable. Next time I'm going to try the bigger brush on this and see. It's not that it's taken a terribly long time, it's just longer than I'm used to. Carson Mealy said that she built a longer wall for a big couch. So ironically, we built the family room around our giant couch, but now we're going to be putting that in the theater room. So, you know. Whatever works. All right, white wax. Um, I think I'm going to do some dark wax and... Are you doing dark wax and white wax? I have a plan. It's for the bottle. Oh, okay. It's for the bottle. Okay, I'm gonna distress this. Okay. Let me, I'll bring it up to the grand, the grand reveal. The grand reveal. Okay, so there's the stencil. I just held it on, I didn't tape it. Oh. We're gonna, that definitely is gonna have to be touched up a little bit. <gasps> That's so cute. And now that I tray just went farmhouse on it. What? Boom, baby. It's funny because it had a JRV stencil on it to begin with. All right. I'm going to go ahead and white wax this. Oh, this is still a little hot. You know what? I'm going to wait. Can I borrow that heat gun? I'm just going to, this is almost dry because yeah. I was putting the paint 
gone so thin with the with Your the offloading. Tip is hot and covered in microfiber. The stencil ninja strikes again. It is a good stencil ninja. I love doing little projects like this jar because they just in the shop there's so many little nooks and crannies that just need a little something. Uh, these always fill it really well. And when you have a booth or a shop, you really, if you don't do smaller items, you're, you're losing a lot of real estate. And a lot of people come in and they don't want to spend a ton of money, but they'll buy a little this, a little that. Or they come in to buy something big, but then they throw on a few extras. And I like to have those extras sitting around. 220 grit. It's the only way we distress. Well, we do wet distress too, but. I watched three men suits that were in a house fire uh, for the family using regular turkey and white vinegar. Speaking of suits, what are you wearing for home church tomorrow? Is your suit at the cleaner? I have a spare suit. Okay. It's going to look real interesting at home church. Even though we're not going to regular church, we wanted to drop our suits off at the dry cleaners because the dry cleaners are really slow right now because people aren't working out of the office place. <laughs> Whatever you need, we're dropping it off, and it won't be ready till Tuesday. Les said her house was built in the 1700s. Everything has to be small to get through the doorways. I don't have many doorways left. We took out all the doorways in the old part of the house. Yep. And the new doorways are all standard widths. And even bigger, because in the main floor guest suite, we made everything ADA. Um, so that way, if anybody ever winds up being in a wheelchair or whatever, or we have people like my parents later on in life, if they have a wheelchair, we're going to have a space for them. We'll have to add a ramp out front, but at least the, the inside of the house is ready. All right, I'll show you guys the closer in a little bit. It's really pretty. I know a guy who could put a ramp together in a few hours. You know a guy hours. that could build a ramp? I know a guy that could build a ramp. His name is Zeb Ray, and he built all the things. Okay, so I got a lot of dust and smearing. Smearing. I'm gonna fix that right now. Normally you say meow, right? Now. Oh, that's loud. I just knocked all the dust all right, out. Can you show them that because you're tall? I better not. I'll buff this on Monday once it's more dry, but I always like to wipe back the white wax and not wait because otherwise you can't get it off later. So as, this, as you can see, a little bit came off from okay, Jamie's fingers, here. but as this cures up, it's going to we'll harden it. and it. it'll be really durable and good. Is there anything Zeb can do? Yes. Um, yeah. Make sure the contract you don't put the register in the wrong spot. Ow. <laughs> Zeb has to do a little bit of repair because he left the we contract. We just got our wires crossed. He, he spoke great English, but I don't think he was understanding what I meant. Yeah. And so... I, Zeb's like, so I'm going to have to repair the floors because they put the register right in front of my entryway. Like, open the door, there's a register. So it's all right. Zeb, it's okay. Zeb's going to fix it. We're painting the floors anyways. And then he drew them a little arrow with a note that says, put the register here. Okay, so if you don't have something to blow the dust off with, before you seal, get all the dust off. This is just a dry paper towel. Rag will work. And let and you me show you. Pigment smearing because DIY paint is so pigmented, so just know that ahead of time. But this really does the trick. But less, less if you do this. I mean, look at look at how much. I mean, I knocked that off. I, I tipped it out, knocked it off. Look how much more pigment pigment I just wiped off. And now it's not sealed yet, but it's back crisp, and it looks like it's been on there for a good long while. Let me see. I'll show you in a minute. Okay. I guess I can wait. Everybody else can see first. Yes, that beautiful tray. Oh, good job. I love it. Yeah. That old school is a good And that would be cute sitting like on a uh, coffee table or on an ottoman, or you could even hang it on a wall. I love having church in my PJs. We, since Seb and Harrington do the sacrament at home, they bless it. Then they put their white shirts on. So we all get dressed up for the sacrament. We got permission. From the bishop. From the bishop to do sacrament at home. Yep. But we all get all kinds of dressed up. Now, I'm not saying that I put on full makeup and hair, but I do put on a big comfy dress. I love comfy dresses. If you go to JRB Closet, you're going to see 
that I have a thing for soft cotton dresses. Anything that's not soft cotton is probably picked up by Adelia. Who's not on here tonight because she's got a friend over. All right, I have another tray. What time is it? It's oh, 900. we've been on 64 minutes. I'm not going to do another tray. But I, well, I'm going to be a minute. I got to finish. But so you breakfast. finish your owl. You know what? I think. You know what? We should. Can you stencil super duper fast? Oh no, you can't finish that because that needs more coats. No, it needs more coats. I'm going to show them one coat on fairly slick metal. I'm going to show them close. No, it's going to need like two coats. You can show them this owl. So we'll finish this. The best way to see these things is on the community tab, or if you follow us on Facebook or Instagram at Jamie Ray Vintage, you can also see all the pictures and what's going on in our day to day in between videos. Well, and when we do our shop tour, a lot of times you'll see finished projects. That's where they. See, that's a little streaky it. there. Yeah. But We're first show you coat. The owl in a minute. And it'll go on real good. And then we have Jamie's bottle. I'll just show all the finished products we did tonight. How much are you going to sell this little bottle oh, for? Oh, also, make sure you guys hit up jamierayvintage.com. That's where you can get these painting products. I always forget to say that, and we always get asked. So there you have it. jamierayvintagehome.com is for our home decor and clothes and such. All right, can you? I will uh, show on the owl. Hold on, I'm not done with this, though. Shoot. You better Marie go. Behind. Oh, can you open that for me, sweetie? Maybe. Okay. Let's show them the app. Sorry. Wait. Wait a second. Jamie moment. Jamie break. Who picked out the blouse I'm wearing? I did. That's clear. Is that what you want? I ordered it. Odelia said she thought it was weird. Does YouTube limit us to an hour? No, but we we limit ourselves to an hour. We try to hit the hour mark. Two things. One, it's about all the more people really want to watch a thrift haul for. And two, if we're on here longer than an hour, it, the video starts getting like weird trolls like commenting and so things like that. So far no trolls, so I'm hurrying up to the trolls. Yes, yeah, we've done good. Oh, you know what? I needed a little... Can you give me a... So this was a white porcelain owl and we didn't even let the paint cure. Jamie heat gunned it and it turned out really awesome. And this is painted in French millinery and it's got white wax over the top. And you don't you don't have to clarify that the white wax is not just for it's decoration, it's a sealer as well. But I wipe it off right away. If you let it sit, man, it is hard to get off. Oh, you're going all kinds of fancy over here. Are well, you gonna do the top too? Um, Looks like you are. I'm just I don't know. Light think, on the top. I think they gave that some good paint. Just go down the whole side too. Down the whole side? Yep, do the whole thing. I feel thing. like it needs a little bit more. Um, oh, that's a lot of bit more. I'm just adding some age and patina. And I got a bunch of good crap because the paint was really thick. So, give me a minute. Yeah, the owl turned out great. I think it was okay white, but it was kind of in your face when it was white. I, that's was why I put the like eye a really a close. Actually, a la Ross. A la Ross. A la Ross. Now it's a la Jamie Ray for $16.95. Because I Jamie Ray did. All right. I'm almost done. I'll let you, I'll show them up close. I, did you guys see that I clear waxed this before I dark waxed it? It's really important. Sometimes people will not do the clear wax first and then it just they can't control. it makes it really hard to control you can't if you get too much of the dark wax on it makes it hard to pull the dark wax off if you don't want it to be that dark and i'll show you this in just a second sorry here. i gotta get it right we gotta show them yeah that. she got good crack carts and millie i'm gonna show you the crack here in just a second up close carts and millie throwing jokes all right, I'll let you do it. Also I'll known as paint crackle. Here, let me hold see on, that. Hold on, not quite. I thought I was ready yet. Sorry. Not quite. Well, you got to Finishing get touches. You know why she's finishing this? Because Monday is full of other things she'll have to do and she won't get back to it. All right, there you go. All right, so well, this was is... Was a Tahitian Donnie green is now like an old aged bottle. Show them the crack. It's on the one side. So if you put the DIY paint on thick and then you get the heat gun, you get the crack. Careful to move your heat gun a lot. You don't want to break Are the Are the Farm glass. Fresh paints food safe? So if you use Farmhouse Finishes or Sweet Pickets Milk Paint from the website and Hemp Oil, which is a top coat, all of those products are USDA bio certified. So there you go. Shelly says drop the mic. 
All right, you guys, thanks for joining us. Make sure you hit up jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products that you saw. If you're interested in home decor or clothes, you just add a home at the end. So jamierayvintagehome.com and you can see those other products. As always, we had a great time with you guys. Comment below with any questions that you have. We're happy to help you out and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. And junk. Bye guys. All right guys, we will see you next week. Love you. Don't lick anybody.